Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down there. And follow me on Instagram. I'm Catherine, it's nice to meet you. And let's get started with this video. So, in today's video, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial, but it's not like a casual makeup tutorial. It's a back to school one with only drugstore makeup products, which is amazing because when you're going back to school, you want affordable products, so that's great. And it's going to be something natural, um, still enhancing the beauty you have, but not like overdoing it because I know that there can be rules at school. For example, when I went to school, I wasn't allowed to wear like a lot of makeup, you know, you could get in trouble for that. So let's go. Sorry if you can hear some noise, that's the TV in the living room, I know. Um, I am really close so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to start off with my eyebrows because that's what I always do first. I'm doing something really really natural because I want this whole makeup look to feel like you're not even trying to be that beautiful, you know? So I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera because that requires some time for me and then I'll get it back to you and just so you know all the products that I use are going to be linked down below and all of them, all of them are drugstore products. So don't forget to check the description box below. Guys, I did my eyebrows off camera and I brought you even closer just because I feel like you can't really tell what I'm going to do and because I am moving on to eyeshadow first and not to make up like the face products because I feel like I don't know I feel like it's much a cleaner look when you do your eyeshadow first because not eyeshadow falls everywhere and because drugstore products have a little bit more of a fallout so just want to be safe I'll have my mirror over here, so if I'm looking a little bit downwards, that's why. And for this makeup look, I'm super excited because I'm going to use um, um, a really affordable eyeshadow palette, which I actually do like a lot. It's the Makeup Revolutions um, Chocolate Bar Palette in the orange one. And it has some warm tones, but it also has some browns and some more ashy shades, but it's mainly warm tones, that's why the oranges and all that kind of stuff are really intense in this palette. But I feel like the shades, like of the a little bit orangey, a little bit warm tone, makes you really like good looking and, and they enhance you. So let's begin. Um, firstly, going to use some concealer and just put that on my eyelid just to, as my base for everything that's going on later and I'm not saying all the products right now but I will be listing them down below I'm saying that again so yeah and I'm not using a lot of concealer because I still because I want the natural look I want a little bit of the veins to just you can see so that you can see them so that it doesn't seem like I put a ton of makeup on, you know? So I'm going in with my eyeshadow palette now and I'm going to choose the shade, let me see. I'm going to go in with the shade Clementine, which is a peachy kind of color. And I'm gonna go in with the brush like a blending brush it's a big one because I do not want right now anything too precise and I'm just gonna place that in the crease and just blend that outwards so that I have a nice fade smaller blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade ribbon yeah 
and I'm going to place that a little bit lower from the lash shade but still blending and making that effortless look. just to make everything nice and just really blended. And because my eyes do look a little more intense than I would like them to right now, I'm going to put on a brown shade and I'm going to choose the shade Desert and just place that over here at the end and like the, um, I don't know, oh my god, I just forgot how it's called, like the outer part of my eye so that I create some depth. just to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take the shade Smash and I'm going to place that all over my lid and blend that out. look that I would like it to be. Um, I'm going to take a Colourpop bronzer which is this one and it's called C8 Dreaming I think. Okay. Yeah it's called C8 Dreaming and I'm going to put that on my brush and just blend that in everywhere just to make everything a little bit less warm toned. For the eyes, I'm going to take the darker shade in the palette, which is called Segment, and it's a dark brown. I'm going to take a brow brush, and it's an angle brush, and I'm going to take some of that, take the excess off, and I'm going to place that as an eyeliner, but not precise and not drying so much outwards because. I want to make that full lash line look without adding some eyeliner because that's pretty harsh and because black is a little bit intense. And just to blend the line a little bit more, I'm going to take a really, really small brush and just so it seems like your eyelashes are doing it, the whole effect. It's a pretty nice trick when you do not want to apply eyeliner, you know. That is it for the eyes for now and let's move on to the complexion because I think that for a really nice natural but still looking good type of look you need a pretty good face like the foundation needs to be nice you need to be glowing as much as you should so let's see what we're going to do next for foundation, I'm going to use a Physicians Formula one, which I do like this recently. Um, obviously, I'm going to use a used, <laughs> dirty um, Real, Techniques Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. 
and yeah, I'm just gonna put that everywhere and I'll see you in a bit. is also pretty nice because it has covers but it's not like the full full deal because you still want the, your skin just to be seen. Now with a lighter shade concealer I'm going to highlight my face but not contour because I feel like that's too harsh for school. <music> shade of concealer I'm gonna go over my dark shade holes just to cancel everything out and then I'm gonna take the lighter shade again and just brighten the under eye area now we need to set our face and for that I'm gonna use the Fib Me powder from Maybelline, the loose one, and I'm not going to bake because I want the natural look, I'm going to say that a million times, but yeah, and with my sponge, with not a lot of product, product I'm going in, under the eyes, and wherever you get oily, that's pretty important because during the day, you're going to get sweaty and this is a good way to be prepared for that. I'm now going to bronze, which is my favorite part because you looked all I don't know, or bro <laughs> all bronzed up, all like sun kissed. I'm gonna take the same bronzer, bronzer that I used before from ColourPop and just with a bigger brush, I'm just gonna put that not so precisely so that it looks natural again. this bronzer which is at the moment broken <laughs> but it is from NYX and it's the California Beaming one in the uh, Kali BB05 and it is a little bit more intense one and it is kind of shimmering I wanted something natural again so I went with the matte one and now we're going to highlight for highlighting I'm going to use the suffix highlighting palette from Makeup Revolution again and I'm gonna use the golden shade, which is over here, and just make my skin glow. I'm not going too precisely because I want to. I want it to look like I am glowing. as well. Just to finish my eyes off, I'm gonna go with a smaller brush that I use and go in with the shade Desert and just place that over here on the lower lash line, just on the outer part. And then with a blending brush, this one's clean, I'm going in with the shade Clementine, the first shade, and just blending that outwards. Okay, now I'm going 
to set everything with some mixed setting spray, the dewy one, the dewy fitness one, because I love that dewiness, but I want everything to be set and to be fine so that nothing runs off of my face. I'm going to use a NYX lip pencil in the shade Los Angeles. It is the matte one and just outline them but not really boldly, just slightly. This is a nice color, but I feel like it's a little bit intense for school or whatever. So I'm going to go over this with a Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade Vow. And it's a nude one, a really, really cool tone, I feel like. So that will like make everything right. going to apply a NYX slip tease lip gloss in the side shake up peel just in the center of my lips so that they are glowy and juicy and blend that in with my finger so lastly I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Paradise mascara and it is shade black and I'll be right back. <music> Guys, that was it for this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down there. Like this video if you like this video. Yeah. <laughs> and comment down below what you would like me to do next. And that was it for this video. I already said that. I feel like this makeup look is on point for back to school and for, and for fall season. So I hope you recreate this look and just let me know if you do. And I'll see you next time.